hello guys welcome back to the channel and i'm so glad to come your way again with another abele walls video i hope you all are doing so well and taking good care of yourself i decided to share this ice cream recipe with you because it was a request so without wasting much time let's take a quick tour of our ingredients I have my custard that I will be using for the ice cream. I also have my milk powder and I'm going to add a pinch of salt. I already have my one tablespoon of margarine. I'm also going to add condensed milk, my vanilla essence and also the stick I will be using for my ice cream. And these are the cups I will use to shape my abelino. So let's go and make this delicious and creamy ice cream. Over here is my one and a half cup of water in my bowl. So I will scoop four spoons of my custard powder and I will mix them very well. To avoid any form of lumps so I will, I will keep on stirring until I get this smooth mixture My custard is well mixed, so I will set it aside and check on my hot water before adding it to the water. My water is boiling, so I'm now going to pour in my mixture and I will be doing this in a form of porridge. I will keep stirring because I don't want my porridge to be lumpy. So I'll keep on stirring until I get the thick mixture that I want. At this point, I'm going to add my margarine into my custard porridge. And adding the margarine gives it a very nice taste in it also rich in nutrient so i'll keep on stirring until my margarine dissolves completely in my porridge My custard porridge is ready, so I'm gonna transfer it into a bowl and start with my mixing. I will first add my condensed milk and then give it a quick stir until I get a uniform mixture before adding my other ingredient to it. I'm going to add my salt to taste and also I'll be adding my vanilla essence to it and after that I'll also add my milk powder mixture to my ice cream.
with my milk powder mixture and my condensed milk i don't need to add any more sugar but please do if you want to add the sugar to it just look at all this richness this ice cream is looking so yummy and creamy at the same time and also this is how i want it to be not too thick and not too light i'm now going to serve them into the cups and also i will be tying some in the plastic rubbers and put it in the fridge for overnight for the final outcome of this ice cream After serving my ice cream into my cups, I'm now going to put the steaks in it before putting it in the refrigerator. So this is what I have over here. Some of the ice creams are in the cups and some too are, in, are tied in the plastic rubber looking so yummy and beautiful i can't wait to have this ice cream i even feel like taking it just right now please let me know how you do your ice cream in the comment section below so i will be putting it in the fridge for some hours before the final outcome of this custard ice cream our ice cream made with custard is finally ready. This is the final outcome of the ice cream. Looking so yummy and mouth watering. I hope you give this a try at home and your children will love it when you try it for them. And if today is your first time of coming across this channel, you are most welcome to this channel. And please don't forget to click on the subscribe button, like and share this video. And to my old returning subscribers, I say thank you, thank you for always taking your precious time to watch every video I post. I really do appreciate it a lot. So till I come your way again, see you in my next video. Peace be with you.